gentlemen, members of the Ohio House of Representatives, members of the Ohio Senate, Hall of Fame members, veterans, and especially the Ohio Veterans Hall of Fame Class of 2016. Welcome to the Ohio Veterans Hall of Fame Enshrinement Ceremony. I would ask that everyone please rise for the invocation and pledge of allegiance. The invocation will be rendered by Rob Doremus, chaplain for the Ohio Veterans Hall of Fame Foundation. Can you join me? The Lord, we ask a blessing on this enshrinement ceremony, the members who have been inducted, all those who have come to celebrate. Please watch over those who cannot be here and those who have been hard for. Amen. Please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance, led by John Hopkins. What a beautiful flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Ladies and gentlemen, remain standing for the national anthem. as your master of ceremonies for this uh, short ceremony today. <clears throat> On Monday, May 8, 2017, it's the anniversary of VE Day, victory in Europe. VE Day was celebrated 8 May 1945 to mark the formal acceptance by the Allies of World War II. It's the unconditional surrender of the armed forces of Nazi Germany thus mark the end of World War II in Europe. At this time, I would ask that any World War II veterans in the audience to please stand or raise your hand and be recognized. Thank you, gentlemen, for your service and your sacrifice. Each year, Members of the Ohio Veterans Hall of Fame Executive Committee meet and select the Ohio Veterans Hall of Fame members for that year from the many nominations they receive. Those selected are inducted into the Ohio Veterans Hall of Fame at a special ceremony in November. Their names are engraved upon a bronze plaque, which is displayed in the state capitol and subsequently enshrined here at the Ohio Veterans Hall of Fame. The Ohio Veterans Hall of Fame Foundation conducts a short ceremony in early May to unveil and enshrine the newest members of the Ohio Veterans Hall of Fame. This plaque will remain here in its permanent location along with all of our other plaques. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we will now chime in the Ohio Veterans Class of 2016. Please hold your applause until we complete the uh, enshrinement program. From Columbiana County, U.S. Navy veteran of World War II and Korea, Robert H. Perchie. Hailing from Hamilton County, U.S. Air Force veteran Robert L. Brewster. From Tuscaroras County, U.S. Navy veteran of the Vietnam War, Thomas R. Burke. From Franklin County, U.S. Army veteran, Albert C. Edmondson. From Pickaway County, U.S. Air Force veteran, William J. Frost. From Fairfield County, U.S. Army veteran, Susan K. Green. From Hamilton County, U.S. Army and Air Force veteran of Operation Desert Shield, Desert Storm, and the Bosnian War, Kelly K. Knox. From Delaware County, U.S. Air Force veteran of the Vietnam War, Robert B. Lance. From Belmont County, U.S. Air Force veteran, John S. Maddox. Hailing from Franklin County, U.S. Air Force veteran, John C. McCoy. From Summit County, U.S. Army veteran, World War II, William J. Miller. From Montgomery County, U.S. Army veteran of World War II, John E. Moore, Sr. From Richland County, U.S. Navy veteran of the Vietnam War, Larry D. Moore. From Delaware County, U.S. Army veteran of the Vietnam War and Operation Desert Shield, Desert Storm, Ronald J. Pusatari. From Ashland County, U.S. Air Force veteran, Joseph J. Rogalski. Cuyahoga County, U.S. Army veteran, John F. Zapansky. From Greene County, U.S. Army veteran, Deborah L. Wallace.
from Hamilton County, U.S. Army veteran, Gerald W. Wilson. Posthumously awarded to Frank Russo, United States Air Force veteran of Korea from Richland County, represented by his wife, Holly. Recognition, please. Before we get into the remarks and the unveiling of the plaque, I would like to take this opportunity to introduce to you the people here at the dais. We have former president of the Ohio Senate, Senator Richard Finan. Services Director Chip Tansel, and the representative for the Ohio Veterans Hall of Fame Class of 2016, Deborah Wallace. I'd like to also recognize a few people out in the audience. Will the members of the Ohio Veterans Hall of Fame Foundation please stand and be recognized? Members of the Ohio Veterans Hall of Fame Executive Committee. You're probably all standing, so put your hand up in the air to be recognized. Will the members of uh, any members that we have here from the Ohio House of Representatives, would you please? Uh, Step forward and introduce yourself, if you would. Uh, Dick Stein, 57th District. Chip uh, Gitter, District 5, Columbia County. Laura Lenny's, 23rd District, Ladies and gentlemen, your recognition, please. <laughs> well, without any further ado, it gives me quite great pleasure to introduce for his remarks former president of the Ohio Senate, member of the Ohio Veterans Hall of Fame, and the person most responsible for this beautiful shrine its location here in the Wright Tower. Ladies and gentlemen, Senator Richard Feinberg. You know, I think at least once a week, I think about this country, our freedoms, but how thin the line is to protect us. And that simply is because of our military and our veterans. That's all that stands between us many problems that occur in this world, around the world, all the time. Always people looking to take us down, and yet our military keeps us safe all the time. I don't care whether you're a two-year enlistee, a draftee, or a lifelong veteran. This, we say to you, thank you, thank you, thank you for all that you have done for us in your time in the military. And to those that think that your service was not important, I don't care whether you 
carry a rifle, whether so you sat behind a desk, or what you did, you all did to the military great things for this country. And then what the good part of it is, when you came home, you did great, more great things for your country. And that's why you were nominated to be part of the Veterans Hall of Fame. So with that, I say to you, thanks again, and Godspeed. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. It's my pleasure to introduce at this time the Director of the Ohio Department of Veteran Services, Colonel Chip Tanzel, United States Army retired. Governor Kasich appointed Colonel Tanzel to lead the Ohio Department of Veteran Services on September 21, 2015. Prior to being appointed Director of the Ohio Department of Veteran Services, Colonel Tanzel served as Executive Director of the Franklin County Veteran Service Commission. Director Tanzel. Thank you all for coming today and joining us uh, to acknowledge the achievements of this remarkable class. I really enjoy getting to know our inductees and their families especially, uh, and it's great to see so many of them here today. As we went through the selection process, and then the induction ceremony itself, it was clear that this is a special group, a very, very special group. Their names being forever etched in the beautiful bronze plaque and placed among the Hall of Fame members represents not only admirable military service, but their amazing commitment to helping others in their community. And it's an honor and it's very well deserved for all of you. Our Veterans Hall of Fame class of 2016 is diverse in appearance, eras of service, and the outreach that they performed in their communities. It's a group of extraordinary people who have provided military honors at funerals, implemented programs to revitalize neighborhoods, organized homecoming celebrations for veterans, including Honor Flight, provided mentorship and valuable youth programs such as Boy Scouts of America and Little League Baseball, served fellow veterans with disabilities, helped to reduce veteran unemployment, and to connect veterans to the benefits they so deserve. You want to know what selflessness is? Bob Birchie has logged more than 200,000 uh, 200, miles transporting veterans to the medical appointments. Kelly Knox worked tirelessly to improve treatment for post-traumatic stress. The list goes on and on and on for these folks. It's a wonderful group of people. As Lieutenant Governor Mary Taylor said at the induction ceremony back in November, the class of 2016 is an inspiration to us all. We are so proud of all of you and honored to share this wonderful ded dedication with you. I want everybody to please give these folks one more round of applause if they please. In addition to our honorees, I would like to thank the Foundation for its support of this great program and the Executive Committee for tackling the difficult task of going through the, uh, the applications and selecting the top candidates. That is no easy task, trust me. Also, a warm thank you goes out to all who are in attendance today, including, of course, our legislators and our honored guests. And thank you all who value our military members, the brave men and women who truly understand the meaning of the word service. That's what the Ohio Veterans Hall of Fame is all about. It is to recognize post-military achievements for outstanding veterans who give back to their community and workplace through continued service. Throughout their lifetime, they have inspired their fellow citizens by their good deeds and their accomplishments. This class joins 498 members of our Hall of Fame, which Governor Boyne established in 1992. I invite you all to spend time at our kiosk, which is behind me, to learn more about the Hall of Fame and its noteworthy members. Honorees of the past 25 years include presidents, astronauts, government officials, 
police officers, community leaders, and veterans advocates. If you know an Ohio veteran who goes above and beyond to help out his or her community, please nominate them to become a member of this Veterans Hall of Fame. I look forward to seeing who will comprise our next class, and I look forward to seeing you all again very soon. Thank you so much for attending. Thank you, Director Jensel. Each year, the class of Ohio Veterans Hall of Fame selects a class representative. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome this year's representative, Deborah L. Wallace, Ohio Veterans Hall of Fame 2016. Thank you. I speak for our class in saying thank you to the Ohio Veterans Hall of Fame Foundation, the Ohio Veterans Selection Committee, and I'm sure it was very difficult to go through the names and the achievements of the veterans in our communities in Ohio. And Ohio is a great place to live and to serve. There were, there are three Navy representatives, seven Air Force, one Ohio National Guard, and eight Army. And I want to thank everyone in our class that has served. I remember the day that I swore into the military in U.S. Army. You raised your arm and you swore to protect and serve our country. The members of my class kept their arm up and have served their lifetimes for the state of Ohio. So I want to thank all of you for your service and we all appreciate this honor. Thank you. Thank you, Deborah. You know, we were never relieved of that oath. We still carry it today. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment we've been waiting for, when the members of the Ohio Veterans Hall of Fame, class of 2016, join their fellow enshrinees. This time, I would ask that Senator Finan and Deborah Wallace please approach and unveil the plaque for the class of 2016. individuals here at the dais and inductees will be available for photos immediately after the conclusion of the program. I'd ask that you please rise for the benediction which will be rendered by Chaplain, Chaplain DeRemus. Please bless us as we depart these services. We ask a blessing as we continue to serve watch over us as we depart the set. Amen. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's program. All in attendance are invited to join us for lunch, which will be served one floor up. Please have a safe journey home, and thank you for your attendance and your support.